all you Martians, or that would be Martians, or something like that, out there. Guitarjams.com on assignment. We're going to do some Hendrix style rhythm stuff. A lot of questions on that. It's really easy. I'm going to show you basically two or three different types of patterns, whether you're on the uh, six string versions of chords or the A string down versions of chords. All the little inflections and little cool things, six, you know, runs that he does to make all the Hendrix stuff sound so awesome. So um, what I'm hopefully going to achieve is to give you the tools to do your own Hendrixy rhythm stuff. So as always, click the links below. Marty's got some awesome stuff for you, and uh, let's get to it. All right, so first off, uh, one of the things that helps really kind of achieve that Hendrix sound is uh, any of you that have strats out there, um, the first three positions um, are always good options. This first one up at the top would be the neck. The next one, I believe, is uh, the neck and the back, I think. I'm pretty sure. And then the middle one is, you know, just like it sounds, the middle pickup. They all achieve cool Hendrixy tones. That's the third position. And then the neck. Which is probably what you're normally associate hearing with Hendrix. Is he's really on that neck in the second position a lot. And he also, um, one of the things you can do is start with a fairly gainy tone. you can do is you can just back off the uh, the volume which he does a lot a lot of times um, in that Hendrix type of stuff a guy will either play like a, a fuzz or whatever and then just back off the volume and it gets you a little bit of hair to that tone so those are just some tips to kind of achieve the sound now to get the actual notes let's uh, let's check into some of this so if you're gonna be on these uh, all six strings versions of the chord, like let's take this A. So you're on the uh, fifth fret A, and then you got the A and D, or you know, the A note, the low E, and then you have the um, A and D strings, seventh fret, sixth fret of the G, and then five and five. You bar that whole fifth fret with your first finger. So right off the bat, um, you can do all the little, you can stay right in the shape and one of the things you can do is you can take your pinky off and hammer onto that suspended note. Now that is just going to be the 7th fret of the G string and all you're doing is so what you're doing is you're, you can just hammer straight on and what I'm doing is I'm hitting two strings at once so Either you can hit the um, D and the G strings, or oftentimes what he'll do is he'll hit the B and the G together. Another thing you can do, same fret, different strings, you can, that's just a hammer on and pull off on the high E string, seventh fret. You can do the same thing on the B string. So that's directly in the chord shape. Now what you can also do is you can go up two frets and now you're going to have all these notes right here. So you got seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, nine. <clears throat> Again, you're going to hit oftentimes two strings at once. So what I'm doing right there is I'm taking the seventh fret of the A and D string and I'm hammering on the A string 9th fret and letting the D string 7th fret ring below. Same thing on the adjacent strings above. Now you don't have to hit two strings at once, you can always do the which he doesn't, you know, or, or people who do that kind of style do all the time. So right here, 
right there, I'm just going right out of uh, major pentatonic, so it's... And you can shift up another whole step. So right here, that's going to be the ninth and 10th fret of the G and B, and I'm going to hammer on to that G and let the B ring below. Back to the A. Solve. You can also do these little sixth. So what you're doing there is you're string skipping. So you're going to be on the G string sixth fret and the A or the high E fifth fret, and then seven and seven, and then slide up to nine and nine. So we got. That's gonna work on any, you know, if you go up to the B, same thing. Actually, it would be a minor in that in that key, but it's gonna be the same thing per given major chord. Now, if you go to the minor chord, say you're in A minor, what's cool is this position right here is gonna be you're gonna be able to use right out of A minor pentatonic first position. Another thing uh, in that type of rhythmic stuff, it really helps to use your thumb for the root note, and then you can get, it really helps you reach all these other notes. That's uh, ninth fret D, seventh fret. Same thing where I'm letting the G ring below it on the fifth fret. So that's. Now, since you're right in the uh, A minor pentatonic. covers the uh, eight, the minor shape. So just stick right under that pentatonic. 